I'm no expert in building AI models, but uh, Google, they got a tool called Teachable Machine where you can play around in building models. So I'm building a very simple model based on a set of images. So I have one set of images that I call classes where are there are images of in different angles of me wearing glasses and then I have another set of images called no glasses where there are a set of images of me not wearing glasses in different angles so now I can train the model that I've already done and on this side where you see the video and below the video there are outputs so it's one glasses and one no glasses so if I, you see that it's detecting that I'm wearing glasses and if I remove my glasses it detects I'm not wearing glasses sorry and now I'm wearing glasses again so this is a very simple model and of course this is not going to be you know working in all the scenarios as you see there are parts when it misdetects uh, or if it, this will work on another person Maybe, maybe not, but this is just for the demonstration. So then you can export this model and then you go up here, you, you, you select TensorFlow Lite and you select Edge TPU. And then you just click download. This will take a time, but it will give you a zip file that, we, uh, that you can open up. So now we have the camera a, uh, I'm using a Q1615 Mark III, and there is a cap called image classification. So this is what you see here. You open up the image classification, and this is what you see. Now we're going to import the model, so I can just uh, select the. Uh, so I extracted the zip file, and I'm putting the model HTPUT flight in there. So it's uploading. And then I select the labels. And since this is going to be binary, uh, I need the I want the confidence level to be very high. So I'll, I'll put it on 90. Now I can apply. So now the model I created in, in Teachable Machine is running in the camera very soon. So I made a little scripting that based on detection that I can view in an overlay. So if I go to image and the video here, the audio may not be synchronized. But now this, this model is running in the camera. So if I remove the glasses, it says no glasses. And I put on my glasses, it says I'm wearing glasses. So this is an easy way to test models when running on the edge.